Hey there, it's Beck. Thank you so much for being here. I thought I would share my health journey with you guys. I know that it looks different for everyone. Everybody's bodies are different, but I wanted to kind of tell you guys about how I got so passionate about health and wellness and fitness and how I got to where I am today. It all started with puberty as a lot of things do. Um, I wanna say I was 12 or 13 when I started getting acne. I felt like I was the only person in my school with acne, which obviously wasn't the case, but it was very embarrassing for me. This is something that I have struggled with my entire life. I still get acne to this day and I'm 25 years old and it has been so detrimental to my mental health. It wasn't until high school when it started getting really bad and I started having terrible mood swings, lots of anger. My dear sweet mother, I was her sixth child, so she knew what it was like to have teenagers. But with me, she was like, this girl is so angry and that's not normal. She took me to go get my hormones tested. So we went to a naturopathic doctor, they tested my hormone levels, and we found out that my progesterone was basically non-existent. I started taking progesterone orally to help with these mood swings and supposedly to help with my acne. I also started gaining a lot of weight in high school. I don't want you thinking that my before body was bad. Well, I think it's totally okay to have physique goals. I was so uncomfortable in my own skin. I was always sluggish and tired. I had so much brain fog. I still had crazy mood swings. I just felt terrible all the time. So my mom was a very health conscious person. I grew up eating on and off vegan diet, pescatarian diet, plant-based diet, we, as a family, went through so many different diet fads with my mom. Don't get me wrong, I'm so grateful for the foundation that she taught me about holistic healing and healthy eating and things like that, but it got to a point where we would eat so healthy at home that I would then go to friends' houses on the weekend and just eat my heart out. This is really, I think, the biggest contributor to my negative relationship with food. About this time, senior year of high school, throughout my college years, I got into running. I learned, as a lot of women do, that if I ran, if I upped my cardio, then I would be able to lose the weight, feel better, have more energy. This was not the case for me. I know that cardio is really important for your cardiovascular endurance and even strength. I would run and run and run and I felt like nothing was happening for me. I did go through a phase where I gained about 35 pounds. You can even see just in my face like how much weight I had gained. The physical weight that I put on was also so much mental and emotional weight. My family is really big into hiking and I remember going on a hike for the first time in a year or so. It was so difficult for me. I remember feeling heartbroken because I love hiking. I used to take pride in hiking as a hobby. I'm not gonna come on here and tell you guys that I started exercising better and eating better because I just wanted to feel better. I also was just very insecure. Eventually, I moved out of the house. I remember like really focusing on prioritizing my own health. I wasn't living at home anymore. I didn't have a loving mother to buy healthy groceries and cook healthy meals for me. And I remember thinking, okay, like this is something I have to learn on my own, but I'm gonna do it on my own terms. But this is when I started doing a ton of research. I was researching health and hormones. I knew that my hormones were way out of whack. I never had a regular period. When I did get my period, it was usually every three months or so, and it was very light, it was very painful. I had cysts on my ovaries. I started dealing with 
very high levels of anxiety and depression. When I started focusing on balancing my hormones, balancing my lifestyle, I got into weightlifting. That's when I saw an increase in my mental health. Now, don't get me wrong, I struggle hardcore with mental health to this day. I saw the correlation between my physical health and well being and my mental health and well being. And then all of a sudden it opened this new door for me where working out was mandatory for me because if I skipped more than two days of working out, there was a noticeable difference in my mental health. Around this time, I also started getting into yoga and I realized that my body was so much happier and healthier when I was lifting weights and doing yoga. Doing strength training and doing yoga really helped me to de-stress, which helped my body to let go of a lot of things, to let go of physical weight, to let go of emotional and mental weight. Also around that time was when thick girls were becoming trendy. So all of a sudden it wasn't trendy to be skinny anymore. It was trendy to be muscular and fit. That being said, I feel like trending body types are just so overrated. I don't think a certain body type should be trendy. So if you're naturally thin, embrace that. If you're naturally curvy, embrace that. Naturally muscular, embrace that and build on that. I feel like this was a breakthrough moment for me where I was like, okay, genetically I am shorter, stockier, have muscular legs. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna follow women who have similar body types to me and I'm gonna get pumped about this. That was just a real mental shift for me where I was like, okay, I'm gonna work with what I have. I think that breakthrough moment for me was finding the beauty in my own body type and really focusing on that. I still eat ice cream, I still eat pasta and donuts. I don't feel restricted in my life anymore and my diet is more sustainable. And what I mean by diet is just the way that I eat. But I finally feel comfortable in the skin that I'm in. I have learned how to accept my body and lean into it. And it's taken me a while to get to where I am. I still have a long way to go. I am so grateful for it. And I'm really excited to share more of my journey with you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will be back here next week with another health and wellness video.